Hey guys, Jay here and welcome to another cosplay tutorial. Today I'm going to be making Toga's Mask from My Hero Academia. So there's not much to say here in the beginning of the video, but if you want to make this for yourself, there will be a template which you can get to down in the description. So let's get started. For this build, I wanted it to be sturdy but not thick. So I decided on 6mm foam from TNT Cosplay Supply. And I'm using white because, well, it's the only one I have that isn't still rolled up. I traced and cut out the template two times so that I had two mirrored pieces. Also at this point the template isn't 100% correct and I'll fix the mask as I go, but the template that is available will be with all of the fixes. I went through about four different versions before one that worked out. I used contact cement to glue the center seam together, and I used two coats because EVA foam likes to soak up a lot of the glue from the first layer. Then after the contact cement is almost dry, I can stick the pieces together. I added marks on the template that you can use as registration marks if you need them, as well as where the glue needs to stop at the top and bottom so that you don't over glue it. Though be aware that this seam is actually really difficult to put together. Because the curve is the way it is, and this is much thinner foam than I normally use, it just didn't want to work right. I almost gave up, but I finally ended up getting it to work. It just took a while to get it to line up right so that the pieces were flush with each other. For the six vertical tubes that are along the front, I tried three different methods, but this is the one that I settled on. I see a lot of people using some kind of corrugated hose or something, but those aren't accurate and I wanted to make this a prop that looked more accurate than the ones you can just buy on Amazon. For this method I used 10mm foam dowels and some 2mm foam sheets. I used my smallest hole cutter from TNT Cosplay Supply to cut holes into the 2mm foam because I want to use the circles that came from the holes. Then I cut the foam dowels down into sections. I made 6 of each size 25mm, 20mm, and 15mm. I cut out 6 of each because there are 3 long sections per tube, technically 5 but the two ends are really short, and there are 3 different lengths, meaning that there are 3 matching pairs. So 2 tubes have 3 25mm sections, the next 2 have 3 20mm sections, and the last two have three 15mm sections. The 25mm section tubes are at the center, and the 15mm section tubes are the outer ones. Then I super glue one of the circles to the dowel, and it kind of resembles a battery. Then I super glue the sections together. Basically, it alternates between long dowel sections and 2mm circles. This makes it look like there are small inset areas between each long section, which is more accurate to how her mask looks than the ones you can just buy. The two end pieces on the tube have angled cuts into them so that they sit correctly. For now, these sections are also longer than they should be. This is just for test fitting. I'm going to add larger dowels that look like connection points later, but I need to make sure they fit good now, so I pin them to the mask which is also fine because the ends will be cut shorter so the area where it's pinned will just flat out be gone and the area of the mask itself that's pinned will be covered by the connector pieces. And here is how I made those connector pieces. This is just a 15mm foam dowel. This is also how I cut the angles into the end of each tube. The connectors will have a 90 degree cut on one end and a very large slope on the other side. I don't know the degree of the angle, but it's the opposite of steep. Then I super glue each connector piece to the mask with the angle side glued up against the mask. The template shows where to place these. After cutting the ends of each tube shorter and on a steeper angle, I super glue them to the connector pieces. Now I should mention, this was a horrible idea. I should not have glued the tubes on yet. I wasn't thinking, and this made it extremely difficult to paint. My paint job looks really bad because of this. The tubes were just in the way, so just paint everything and then glue the tubes on. After the glue was all set, I masked off the ends of the mask where I want to add the velcro to keep it on your head. Then I hit it with a few coats of Plasti Dip spray. Since I added the tubes before painting, this heavily limited my options for paint. Black spray paint would have made the tubes the same finish, which would have made it much harder to paint over them with silver. So I opted to just use brush on acrylic paint, which does not look as good here. So it's a bit splotchy because of this. Make life easier on yourself and just paint the mask and tubes separately, then glue the tubes on. For the tubes, I dry brushed them with silver acrylic. 
which is what I was gonna do anyway. Dry brushing is where you wipe off most of the paint onto a paper towel, so there's almost nothing left on the brush. Then when you brush this on, it's very light. Doing this all over the surface of a piece gives it a really cool metallic look. Also, I had to mask off the black, which was pretty much a nightmare, and even more of a reason to do those separately. The last step is to glue on the Velcro. I used three strips that I cut to fit side by side, and then contact cemented them on. Since I used acrylics, I don't need to use a clear coat, but if you spray paint it, then I guess you could go over it with a satin clear coat, but otherwise you're done. Alright, so that was how to make Toga's mask from My Hero Academia. I don't think I've said this in any video, but if you guys have any suggestions for things that I should make, or any topics I should talk about, or anything like that, because uh, that's the reason there's been tutorial after tutorials, because I don't have things to actually talk about, like tips or tricks that you guys want to know, because no one's suggesting anything. So if you guys want to suggest some stuff, maybe things you would like to know, or would like to know about, or something like that, go ahead and leave them in the comments below, as well as obviously the suggestions for other things to make. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. If you like it, go ahead and give it that thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys later.